Hello and welcome to the latest edition of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. As a reminder, today's interview is for informational purposes only. The NYC does not recommend investments or investment strategies. Now, we're live on the floor of The Exchange with Matt Hogan, a good friend of ours and the Chief Investment Officer at Bitwise Asset Management. Matt, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. So I want to talk a little bit about your new ETF, BWEB, the mm -hmm. Bitwise Web3 ETF. Yep. How does BWEB fit into the overall portfolio strategy at Bitwise? Oh, it's a great question, Doug. You know, at Bitwise, we think public blockchains and crypto are one of the most disruptive technologies that we've seen in the market for the past 20 years and we help investors get safe and secure exposure to that theme. We do it in different ways. We have a crypto index fund that owns Bitcoin and Ethereum directly. We have a crypto equity ETF, BitQ, that owns crypto miners and other crypto specific companies. BWeb is the next generation. These are large established innovators in the tech and finance space that see the, what blockchain and crypto can do and are building on top of it. These are companies like Square, they're companies like Shopify, they're companies like Roblox that see where the puck is going and are skating in that direction. Interestingly, the innovative companies listening here at the New York Stock Exchange are naming them off. So BWeb, right, it's Web3. For investors, advisors, where does that fit into their portfolio? I think there are two places it can fit really well. One is as a replacement for other technology exposure. These are companies that see what the next generation of the internet is and are building for it. There are other companies that don't recognize that, that have blinders on, and we think that this is a better way to get tech exposure. The second way is just as an innovative sleeve and an area for growth. Look, the macro environment is challenging. We're facing economic headwinds, but like in every other challenging period, there will be a few companies that have strong earnings growth that can rise above, and I think a small allocation to BWeb is one way to get exposure to those companies. Yeah, let's go a little deeper there when you say small allocation, right? A lot of investors, they think about their broad portfolio. How do they think about BWeb against everything else they're investing in? Yeah, I, look, it fits in the equity sleeve. It's on the riskier side of that equity sleeve. It depends on each investor's risk tolerance, but we think you know a five or 10% allocation within a broader equity sleeve is a reasonable approach for growth-oriented investors who are looking for the next big thing. So now Bitwise, right, you guys have been leaders, individually leaders across the ETF ecosystem for a really long time, and you're also super accessible. For an investor and advisor that's looking to, to talk to you guys to learn more, where do they go, what do they do? Yeah, absolutely. Come to our website at bitwiseinvestments.com. You can sign up to get our monthly letter about crypto and the blockchain space, or you can talk to one of our sales reps. We're one of the only crypto companies with sales reps in every region of the country, and we're there to answer your questions. And industry veterans at that. <laughs> For those that captured this episode live, but you're looking for additional thought leadership content, you can find it all on the New York Stock Exchange's website, etfcentral.com. Easy to remember, ETF Central. All brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.